Boom. Well back. A bit cloudy this morning. It's a bit earlier too. About quarter to seven. You know, I brought the beast up to do the magis. I brought two plastic sheets to catch all the leaves and all to sweep them up off stones. And I've also brought Get in here. No road noise from the top. This is, or these are, sorry. Two little fans. Yeah. There's two in there. And also, with them, there's a little solar panel. So what that does when it gets to a certain heat in here, it either draws the air out, whichever way you put the fans, or it pulls air in. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm having it pulling air in on this side, on another side, and then that opens as well, so it'll just draw the air through. So depends which way you position them, which way they work. I think it was uh, 22 quid this. I've got one in the greenhouse at home. And it works belted in there, it keeps it dead regulated. Even when it's mad hot, you can hear them whirring away. And the solar, I don't know what the solar panel's for. Is it, it works on a, must when the solar panel gets to a certain heat. I don't know, but it does it anyway. So that's where they're going, I'm just hoping the wires are long enough to reach. Yeah, they should be, to the middle. Found out some work for them. That's a little job for after. Shouldn't take long. Cut through this with the uh, knife. Yeah. And then just finish weeding down the bottom. I didn't do yesterday. So bad. Only a couple of this side's a weed shed. The barn weed. Yeah. Also his tail. Everything. So I'll be doing that today as well. Plenty of pigeons about this morning. These are taking their time taking off. These in here are belting. Peas on them soon. I'm talking of peas and beans. I brought them uh, yard long beans up now. There's uh, three different cans there. I think that's, that's the Chinese one, that. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a, a teepee. Uh, probably where them lattice are, because they'll be coming out soon. And I'll grow them up five legs at teepee. There's a five or seven. Two, four, six, seven. I'll put seven fingers up and... Uh, Loving it, that pumpkin, isn't it? It's taken off now. Uh. Grow, my pretty, grow. Sweet corn's going to be ready for eating soon, before it gets in ground. Oh, I've added some more clips today as well, they're coming. I can't find them, so I've ordered a big pack of them. 200, I think, because I'm going to use some for Grapevine as well, and this Grapevine. And that stood up after yesterday, anyway. Keep it 
it going that way. This wheel to pull all the. So when the bottom leaves come out, they just whoosh, get up to the pole. Yeah, right, nah, let's go see if that kettle's boiled. There we go, all rigged up. It's a bit early yet, so I'm having a brew and a sig. Half an hour. This will be a bit neater up the dead land. Roll out triffids, them uh, rivets. See you in a bit. I'm going to sweat on that. <coughs> now, it's just took about an hour and a half that. Them all the way up, all the way right back. Oh, I didn't realise it was so warm today. Better in Mumbai, and we'll do all the way right back. So, I just need to sweep up, but uh, it's brew time now. We'll sit down. Oh, and it's too warm in here. Only lights under there. Yeah, I'll get that kettle on and uh, I've weeded that front. Just before I did these edges. So I just need to sweep up down here in a minute. There we go, keep all them weeds out of that front there. So there's only plants in there now. And trees. So I'll sweep all them up. That's our bunch of bad. And a couple of weeds. All weeds fair, but that's hard for some reason. Right. Uh, Let's get the kettle on. Show you these solar fans working now, and then that one stops. So there's the solar panel, obviously facing ground. So as soon as that sun gets on it and it gets warm in here, and it hits that sun, you ready? There you go. There you so let me just stick that up there now. So I'll just stuck that out some there. And they're blowing now, so they're blowing cool air out of that fan, both of them. So what I'm going to do is put that solar panel outside, and probably... ...on this side here. So it gets that sun all the way day across, when it gets warm later on the afternoon, and the fans will kick in. So now I just have to look at where the wires are, and where I can put... To and fans in there, but yeah, blow nice and cool then. So I'll get that on there. Get some ventilation in here. Cause that's open already, see. It's 28.9 degrees, it's only, it's only just gone nine o'clock. It's nearly 30 degrees in here. So that's why we need them. So you used to have, uh, them thingies and they just blow through, just manual ones, but obviously when I set the tunnel on fire with ashes, they all went, so they're better anyway. Only 20 quid. I just look now on Amazon. Well worth it, so I'll get them in. There you go. Both in and running. The reason you can see that one a bit more is because I snapped a fin off like an idiot, but it's still working. So I've stuck the panel on there. So I should get sun all day there because I think that's south facing. I'm pretty sure this is south facing. So it should stay nice and cool. I think it's dropped now, 28 degrees. How about that? 
It's with 20 now, so it's okay, I'm in 20 now, put now. So hopefully that's will keep it a bit cooler in here now. Then, uh, some tough bottle rate, these got in too hot. That's another job. Ticked off the list while my brew was cooling down. How about that then? Yeah. I'm sitting on the brew now for five minutes. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to take a chance and get this sweet corn out. Because, uh, middle of May now. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's getting a bit too, uh, it'll start going yellow in a bit, because it's got really tall now. So, it's going in. So that, uh, right, where's it going? It's got a sweet on in Think we'll have it. This side here. Yeah. So I'm banging in this bit here. I've got all them lad down where they got go. So if you look, I've done three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. Just sort of like a diamond. So I'll pop them in there. Yeah, well that's all my sweet corn in on this side. I don't even know how many there is, I'm not going to. I just filled a bit. Well that's full now. So all I've got left is pumpkin in here. And my beans in there and trellises. I've got to make some wigwams. And then I'm full. I suppose they're looking good, aren't they? They're flowing in there. The first lot. Just getting flowers on there. So, the tubs are nice and ever so they're wet through. There's one not turned out. I only noticed this morning. Maybe I forgot to put a spot in there or what? Well, it's not turned out. Anyway, I'll give them a good water. A little watering can. And then uh, that's another job done. I'll go around that brush and get this cleaned up. These weeds. And I'll walk make a brew. It's a bit fuller now, don't it? This lettuce is doing okay in this goodness. It's growing now, it's like the top of that wall's up again today. They only need the easiest of them. Look at them grapes already. Melting. Look at them, they're everywhere. Big bunches of grapes. It's probably a bonanza this year. We'll keep them down. Yeah, right to end. Big bunch. Melting. Uh, I'll get my brush. This is the difference between having them in a net, a netted hoop, or a tunnel, whatever you want to do, or outside, because these are sweet. Yeah, all looking brilliant, aren't they? They're nibbled, done again, nibbled, but you get that on all of them. But these were, them were planted the same day as these are planted the seeds. And I planted some outside here with the pigeons. Look at that, we've demolished them. I think they'll still grow because uh, they grow some leaves back. Pretty uh, resilient and sweet. The bed's not the race. Uh, yeah, look at the difference. And that's because they've not been able to get at them. Pidgey widgeons. So that's what's done that, not slugs. There's no trailer slugs on that. 
Right, I'm going, it's about 10 o'clock, I think. George just turned up, doing his uh, slug killing. I've not, I've not weeded in here yet. I'll do it at morning because what I'm going to do at morning. Look, okay. Is, uh, I'll sweep all them sweepings up. There's Joe. Weed killing, look at it. No, it's not. It's uh, slug killing. Yeah, I'll sweep all these up and dry up a bit. I'll clean them all up in the morning. That's how much he's done anyway for another month. Sweet corn's in. So I've only and George just in for me. He's put his pumpkin in already. Well, that's because he's going away on holiday. So I'm back another two week me. I'm going to get some bonny roots in that pot and then uh, I'll dig a big pit, fill it with about a barrel, barrel full of horse manure and then plant it on top of the hole. And then she'll just take off all the way around that bed. So I'll start it in that corner there. Uh, this corner here, sort of run it around and get the pumpkin at the end there. So the plant goes all the way around the side. I'm still going to burn a pumpkin off that then. That's what I did last year in here, but it was a bit thin this bed, but I grew it all the way along the bed, round. I'm going to have the pumpkin about there. It should be better in that fatter bed there. Be more room to manipulate the stem to our way of thinking. Right. That's about me because these tomatoes are okay today. They don't need watering. And, uh, oops, excuse me. Pardon me. Coffee. Looking bonnet on it. That's too coffee, it's a potted it up again, see. Yeah. I might pot these up tomorrow because these are spur beds and they'll. Uh, I'll do okay in pots. In fact, I'll pot them up now before I go. But uh, that'll do till tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow.